Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. I prepared eight nursing exam questions to assess your knowledge before your exams. The correct answers and rationale will be provided once you finish all the questions. So get a pen and paper and let's start. Question number one. For question number one, Nurse Moon is caring for a patient with meningitis. Which of the following transmission-based precautions does she need to implement? Meningitis is transmitted by droplet infection. Precautions for this disease include a private room or cohort patient, as well as the use of a standard precaution mask. Cohort patient means placing patients with the same infection in the same ward. Patient cohorts may be appropriate when single rooms are not available 
and there is more than one patient with the same confirmed infection. Private negative airflow pressure rooms and personal respiratory protection devices are required for clients with airborne diseases such as tuberculosis. When appropriate, a mask must be worn by the client and not by the staff when the client leaves the room. Therefore, the correct answer is C. Question number two. Nurse Tantan is caring for an infant with a diagnosis of hydrocephalus. Preoperatively, a priority nursing intervention is to Hydrocephalus occurs as a result of an imbalance of cerebrospinal fluid absorption or production that is caused by malformations, tumors, hemorrhage, infections, or trauma. It results in head enlargement and increased intracranial pressure. In infants with hydrocephalus, the head grows at an abnormal rate, and if the infant is not repositioned frequently, pressure ulcers can occur on the back and side of the head. An egg crate mattress under the head is also a nursing intervention that can help prevent skin breakdown. Proteinuria is not specific to hydrocephalus. The stimulus should be kept at a minimum because of the increase in intracranial pressure. It is not necessary to check the temperature every hour. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Question number 3. Patient A is admitted to a mental health unit for a treatment of psychotic behavior. The patient is shouting, Let me out. There's nothing wrong with me. I don't belong here. A nurse analyzes this behavior as The correct answer is D. Denial. Denial is the refusal to admit to a painful reality, which is treated as if it does not exist. Rationalization is justifying illogical or unreasonable ideas, actions, or feelings by developing acceptable explanations that satisfy the teller and the listener. In projection, a person unconsciously rejects emotionally unacceptable features and attributes them to other persons, objects, or situations. In regression, the patient returns to an earlier, more comforting, although less mature way of behaving. Question number four. Nurse Gami is in the labor room caring for a patient in the active stage of labor. She is assessing the fetal patterns and notes a late deceleration on the monitor strip. The appropriate nursing action is to Late decelerations are due to uteroplacental insufficiency and occur because of decreased blood flow and oxygen to the fetus during uterine contractions. Hypoxemia will happen. Therefore, oxygen via face mask is necessary. The supine position is avoided because it decreases uterine blood flow to the fetus. The client should be turned onto her side to displace pressure of the gravid uterus on the inferior vena cava. An intravenous oxytocin infusion is discontinued when a late deceleration is noted. The oxytocin would cause further hypoxemia because of increased interoplacental insufficiency resulting from the stimulation of contractions by this medication. Although the nurse would document the occurrence, option D would delay necessary treatment. Therefore, the correct answer is B. Question number 5. Nurse Copico is evaluating the developmental level of a 2-year-old. Which of the following does she expect to observe in this child? By the age of 2, the child can use a cup and spoon correctly, but with some spilling. By age 3 to 4, the child begins to use a fork. By the end of the preschool period, the child should be able to pour a milk into a cup and begin to use a knife for cutting. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Question number 6. A physician prescribed laboratory studies for an infant of a woman positive for HIV to determine the presence of HIV antigen in the infant. 
the nurse anticipates which laboratory study will be prescribed for the infant. The detection of HIV in infants is confirmed by P24 antigen assay, virus culture of HIV, or PCR. The CD4 plus cell count indicates how well the immune system is working. A chest X-ray evaluates the presence of other manifestations of HIV infection, such as pneumonia, while a Western blood test confirms the presence of HIV antibodies. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Question number 7. Nurse Lindsay is teaching a client about the risk factors associated with colorectal cancer. She determines that further teaching related to colorectal cancer is necessary if the client identifies which of the following as an associated risk factor. Colorectal cancer risk factors include age older than 50 years old, a family history of the disease, colorectal polyps, and chronic inflammatory bowel disease. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Question number 8. Nurse Tan is caring for a client after a bronchoscopy and biopsy. Which of the following signs, if noted in the client, should be reported immediately to the physician? If a biopsy was performed during a bronchoscopy, blood streak sputum is expected for several hours. Frank blood indicates hemorrhage. The client should be assessed for signs of complications like cyanosis, dyspnea, strider, bronchospasm, hemoptysis, hypotension, tachycardia, and dysrhythmias. Hematuria is unrelated to this procedure and a dry cough may be expected. Therefore, the correct answer is B. That's it for today. If you want to learn more, you can check some of my Q&A videos and many simple discussions on my YouTube channel. Keep on learning, nurses! Thank you for listening. I hope you learned and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video!